Les, it's a challenge that's fast becoming a crisis for many parents of young children, scrambling to find baby formula anywhere they can get it. It's a national shortage and it's getting worse. The White House says it's working with manufacturers to get more onto store shelves. And Congress says it will investigate the causes of this low supply. Well, some experts say this really isn't new. The shortage began two years ago, right when the pandemic did. So how did we get here? In 2020, COVID-19 led to disruptions in labor, transportation, and raw materials. This, combined with parents stockpiling formula, led to shortages in some states. Now, jump to February of this year, U.S. health officials warned parents across the country to stop buying powdered formula made by Abbott. It came after several babies got sick after ingesting it, and two of those babies died. On February 17th, the FDA pulled it off store shelves, leading to even more shortages. By April, 31% of stores reported they were completely out of baby formula. Now, eight states and D.C. currently have less than half their usual inventory on hand. Another 28 states, including Maryland and Virginia, are reporting shortages topping 40%. Now, retailers that do have formula in stock are limiting the amount you can buy. 